The Monster Jam World Finals is where the best monster truck drivers in the world come together to compete for world championships, to be crowned the best drivers every year in that competition. And the racing championship is always one that provides some of the highest intensity action. The races where the drivers are going so fast, going hard into turns, the drivers are quite literally never going faster and harder than they are in racing. And this obviously leads to some crazy crashes as well. Over the course of World Finals history, there have been a lot of crashes, some a little bit less exciting and crazy than others, and some have been breathtaking and really, honestly, will make it kind of nervous to make sure the driver's okay. So in this video, I wanted to rank the top 10 wildest racing crashes in Monster Jam World Finals history. So we will start it off with the first spot and I want to give an honorable mention in this video. We're not going to do honorable mentions every time, but in this video I wanted to give an honorable mention to the Titan crash from the 2014 World Finals. Now the reason why this is an honorable mention is because this happened in qualifying. This did not happen during the actual racing competition. All of these top 10 spots take place during the World Finals Racing Championship. No showdown, no qualifying. So that's an important thing to get out of the way, and this crash was arguably in the top three wildest crashes in World Finals history, but I have to talk about it in some way, because it can't be in the top 10, but man, it was a wild crash, and it gets its spot in an honorable mention. So then we go over to number 10. Starting off the list, we go to the 2014 Racing Championship where Jim Kohler, not the best of racers, found himself in a little bit of trouble in the turn, almost headed into the stands. The number nine spot, we go to the 2010 World Finals, which had the most big crashes in World Finals racing history, where David Smith in King Crunch had a bit of a wild ride, and not only crashed once, but had himself kind of two crashes in a pretty wild fashion. Oh my! It's not freestyle yet, David. David's got big problems wow. with that chassis. Coming in at number eight, this is my own POV here as we go to the World Finals in 2018 where Colvinard was up not only on the wall in the chicane but came barreling out of Thunder Alley right towards the fans in the stands. Coming in at number 7, we go to 2010 again where Adam Anderson in Taz clipped that side obstacle that was really problematic all night. At number 6, we have one of the earliest crashes in World Finals history as Wrenchhead could not have any control at the end of his race, heading straight towards the dumpsters. Might have been oh, wow. At number 5, Alex Blackwell in Captain's Curse in 2010 lost a little bit of control after his race was over. Style. At number four, we have arguably the most prolonged racing crash in World Finals history as Cam McQueen battled this one throughout half the track. In the number three spot, Adam Anderson in 2009 at the World Finals clips one of the walls in Thunder Alley heading straight towards a tree, had to be checked out by medical examiners and couldn't even compete in freestyle. Vance Auto Parts, Thunder Alley, Adam Anderson got out of control. And I'm all right, I'm shooken up and you know what I need to I want to go get checked out. At number two, a crash that so many people thought was the scariest crash of all time. We go way back in World Finals history where Pablo Huffaker lost control and went tumbling into the dumpsters on the far side of the track. He's done it again. Upset number 20 rolls it over. Oh my, he's up on the wall protecting. 
action. And at number one, the wildest crash in world finals racing history. We go back to 2009, where Alex Blackwell and Captain's Curse headed into the stands. Over he goes, look out. Captain's Curse goes into the safety hold area. So that's it. There's your top 10. What did you guys agree with? What did you disagree with? Obviously, there's so many different things on this list. So many crashes in Monster Jam history. So let me know in the comments, what would you change out? What would you put at number one? And let me know in the comments as well, what other videos you want to see me do top 10s on in the future. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you all in the next one.